Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into testing, which is one of the most important parts in any language. Okay. So testing is a critical part of software development in Kotlin. Like two powerful tools make the testing efficient and enjoyable. JUnit is for writing unit test cases and mock K is for mocking dependencies. Today, we will explore how we will use these tools effectively to under, understand and uh, you know ensure your Kotlin applications uh, to make this uh, you know your applications robust and reliable. So always use uh, you know automated testing so that in case you make any changes in future, your rest of the test cases or the rest of the use cases will be in a similar. I mean. It, it should comply with the same right and if anything breaks you will be able to understand that which cases it is breaking so that's why an automated test is very important maybe you are understanding that okay no uh, if we are testing this scenario rest of the scenarios will get passed no that's not going to be the case it will always break if you make something there might be breaks in different scenarios in that cases you have to handle tactfully in those cases automated testing works best okay so junit is a popular testing framework for java and kotlin as you have already know it provides annotations assertions and uh, test runners uh, to structures and uh, you know validate your test cases so first of all you have to understand the key features of junit that is the annotations like uh, add rate test it's for making test methods you have already know it right so you uh, it's the same in Kotlin, uh, you know, assertions like assert equals where you check what is the expected value and what is the actual value. OK, and you check what is assert true that you are actually asserting that whether the expected condition is true or not. OK, and uh, is for other validating outcomes. Right. And you have, uh, you know, other annotations like before each, after each. Uh, okay, these are life cycle annotations. You have already know that. So I will show you how to write a sample J unit cases. Okay, so if you have a basic understanding that how uh, you know you have written the code. So I'll go to the editor. I'll start writing the code and you will eventually understand what I'm uh, you know what I'm trying to do and how I'm testing. So for that, suppose I write a class. Okay, which is. Calculator. Okay, and I am writing a function called add and I'm taking two variables int b is equals b int okay and uh, suppose I am taking int as a return type and what it will return is a plus b okay this is a simple class that I've written and suppose now I have to test this class in those cases what I'll do I'll do what I'll do class cal calculator test okay whenever I do that I write this is the test class that I want to I want to test for calculator class okay for that what I can do is I can take an instance of the calculator class okay let's make an instance of this class that is the calculator object now this annotation at the rate test it will give you uh, you know what that you can create your own test functions that is to to use this what you need to do is you need to go to build uh, sorry you need to go to uh, build.gradle.kts and you need to add these uh, implementations so for j uh, you know j unit i have added org.junit.jupyterjunit and for mock i have added io.mock and the version that you want to use okay so i am trying to write a test case that is at the rate test and i'm writing a function so always remember whenever you are writing a function your function has to be verbose so that the other person will be able to understand that what cases that you are testing so suppose i write should return the correct sum and after that i am doing this operator and i am closing this now 
what I'll do is I'll I'll try to check that if I'm calling this suppose I take a result and with this instance what I'll do is I'll call the add and I'll pass two and three so the result should be five right so in order to validate that what I'll do is I'll do assert equals five and that is the expected value and the actual value is result okay now you need to import this function assert equals now i am you know running this test class okay so as you can see it will be passed so whenever you write a test class it will be executed like this so the test class will always be executed it's like a main function that you have written that is the starter of the function right so the test annotation identifies the method as a test case and i have written that what this test case will do that is the function in, in uh, inside the caret operator that i have written and the assert equals is uh, you know uh, verifying that this is the expected result is 5 that is 2 plus 3 and the actual result i have given here in the result so when if these two are if these two are equal then it will pass else it what it not okay so that is a simple JUnit test case that I've shown you now what I can do is I'll do the next one that is mock so mock is a Kotlin first library for mocking okay when uh, your classes depend on the other components mock helps you to mock those dependencies for isolated testing okay so first of all you have to ask that why use mock Okay, so Kotlin specific features like uh, mocking final classes, uh, you know, functions, simple API for, uh, you know, defining behaviors and verifying the interactions. And it's quite lightweight and easy to integrate. Okay, it's easy to integrate with the JUnit and all. So I will show you how we can do the mock. Okay, so I'll do go to the code and in the calculator in the calculator class suppose okay i take private val logger service and i take a logger service okay well and let's define this logger service here as an interface okay and it's a simple log function that i'll create it will take a string message okay and in the fun add, now in the fun add what i'll do is i'll give it a, a body where i will take the result okay a plus b and i'll call the logger service dot log and i will do that adding a with b okay and i will give the result in the interpolation and i will return the result okay so it's it's just the logger service that i have taken just to whenever we are calling this we will just check the logs okay now instead of suppose i comment this out and i write a mock test okay what is a mock testing that i'll show you that is the class calculator mock test and i'll take private well logger service so this logger service i will mock okay i'll mock here in the test class so it's not actually the right i mean it's not actually the uh, exact class that i mock uh, i mean i need to write what i can do is i need i i'll i'll use the mock to mock the logger service okay so okay this is sort of this sorry yeah so there was a mistake there yeah 
okay the log service and i take as uh, the mock okay so it will mock the log service and i do what i'll do private well calculator is equals to calculator and i will provide the mock object that the logger service with the mock that i have created now i'll write a test case that i have mocked the other one right i have mocked the logger service now i'll write a test case that what it will do is it will uh, you know should log the addition operation so this is the way you write a test case it's not like that uh, you write a simple whatever string that you want no it will be uh, you know helpful for other developers to understand that what test cases that you have tested so if there is any other test cases that have to be tested they will write it so it should always be verbose it will always be in, in simple english that this is the test case that you have written okay so uh, so suppose i am so this is the every so for every uh, you know logger service dot log calls okay so it should return and i'll take the any okay like any calls if any calls to this happens it returns what an unit okay now i will call this calculator dot add and i'll take two and three now i will verify okay this logger service dot log if so previously i have given what i have given that if logger service dot log is anyway called with any of the arguments like it can be a string so we have defined that right we have defined that it's a string right so for the safety purpose i have given the any it if you provide string it will be the same thing but what i am doing is this are kind of regular expression you can say that this is the string if suppose with the string whenever you are calling this calculator dot add it is initializing the mock and it is calling the logger service right so it is having the result and it is giving the logger and it is calling the logger service now is the logger service is being mocked here with the mock and what this will do is whenever you call this the logger service will get printed so whenever this is this is get printed it will print what this one adding two okay i'll i'll add adding two and three and the result is five okay so this is the exact format that is being written adding two with three sorry two with three and the result is five so if i run it you will see that it verifies that the expected method calls yeah as you can see it is passed okay so it it is it is very easy to mock the dependencies okay and the where you need to focus more okay so this is how you can write the mock tests so finally what you need to understand is j unit and mock together will provide a powerful combination for testing Kotlin applications with J unit, you validate the logic with mock, uh, you uh, isolate the dependencies. Okay, so mastering these tools will help you to build a reliable, maintainable applications. And remember, the time spent on testing is the time spent on time saved on debugging. So feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section and let me know that if you uh, find if you are finding this uh, videos helpful and always remember okay that use these tricks in your uh, you know day to day uh, coding patterns and uh, that's it for today until next time keep coding keep testing bye